Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay Brown and today I am sharing with you guys a what's in my bag on this beautiful Coach City Tote in the light khaki and chalk print. And here's how it looks with the handles up. You guys, I am completely, completely obsessed with this color combination ever since I purchased the Rowan in the light khaki with the ivory trim. Um, I just love this and it is perfect for summer so I have really been enjoying it but I received a new bag today that I am excited about so I'm going to move out of this and get into that one. So what you're seeing right here on the front, this is just some cute bag jewelry that my mom made for me that I attached on here with a couple of rings. It does not have feet and it is a pretty, um, just standard city tote. I, I've featured um, at least two of these on my channel before. Let's get into the inside really quickly. So one thing that I did try differently this time, you guys, I actually purchased the coach organizer so what i do like about it is that it you know gave the bag a bit more structure the city totes are super floppy on their own um but it did give it a lot more structure structure so this is how it's looking as you can see the insert has a lot of pockets like there's a back zipper here there's two slip pockets here let me turn it around on this side, there is another large slip pocket as well as two slip compartments here. And then on the sides here, I don't know if I'm getting in there really well, but in the sides, like right here, there um, are bottle holders. Honestly, you guys, as a former owner of a Coach diaper bag, this insert gives me major diaper bag vibes. It totally reminds me of the inside of the diaper bag that I owned. So let's go ahead and get into the contents. Okay, you guys, and I'm gonna try something new today and do a setup kind of like my girl Dazzle with me 77 and just one SB. They tend to lean the bag forward so you guys can see inside the bag and see items as they're actually being pulled out. So let me know what you guys think of this setup. So let's get into it. I'm gonna go into this back slip pocket of the organizer. And the first thing I'm pulling out is my Coach card case. This is the small zip around card case in, um, I'm guessing that's chalk or ivory color with just some pink flowers. And actually, I'm not gonna open this up. I have my everyday cards in here. So I have my um, ID, most used credit cards, and my debit card in here. Next in this back slip pocket, I have, let's see, my car keys. I have a portable cell phone charger. This is my black one. I've been carrying around two this week and it's coming in handy because my earbuds and my phone, they're dying at the same time. This is my iWalk charger and I just love this pink color. It is so pretty. But honestly, you guys, I think I prefer this one because it tells you an actual percentage of battery left. Let me turn it on, let me see. See, it shows you an actual percentage of battery left versus this one just showing you like little glowing bars and this needs to be recharged. As you can see, the little one indicator light is flashing at me. So I prefer the original one that I owned. And then I have this hand sanitizer from the Dollar Tree and this is in the orange scent. And I love spray hand sanitizers. Um, kind of in between the actual purse itself and the insert, I have an empty Ziploc bag. And then there is nothing else in that slip pocket. And then there is a snap closure slip pocket here. And I have a feminine product, a pack of Barbie tissue, and that is it for that pocket. For the pocket closest on this side. 
Oh, okay, so now we're in the pockets on the opposite side. There are two slip pockets right here. I don't know if you can see that, but I have a large pack of extra gum. I don't have anything in that other slip pocket. I have also been sticking my cell phones in these two slip pockets here during the week. This larger slip pocket in the back with the um, snap closure, I have my wet ones in my mask and my reusable Ziploc containers. And you guys, it's that time of year again. So my portable fan is back. So typically if I take a walk at work, um, I use this to kind of just cool down when I get back. Next, I have this eyeglasses case from Dollar Tree with my shades in it. And you guys have seen these several times. I have these in both like this purple color and a cream color. And I picked these up from Burlington a while ago. I have my regular eyeglasses that I wear for work mostly and driving. I have a Bath and Body Works um, spray and hand lotion so this is butterfly and this one smells really good you guys it does not include the fragrance notes on here but it's just a light kind of fruity floral so very pretty and just an easy grab and go next I have a receipt so yesterday you guys I actually went to the coach outlet to make a return so that's why I went ahead and filmed the most recent houndtooth and um, houndstooth and Logan collections um, for you all to see since I was there next I have my main wallet with the remainder of all of my credit cards, health insurance cards, etc., cetera. Um, it is packed pretty full. I have cards in the slip pockets. There are, I wanna say 10 slip pockets on the inside, plus this zipper compartment, which is also full of other cards and gift cards, etc. And this is in the chalk color. And I wanna say this is the um, medium corner zip wallet. I'm not sure. Next, you guys, I have this big old pencil case. I'm obsessed with this thing. I love that it is see-through. I picked this up from Amazon for about $8, and I have a ton of highlighters and pins in there, and it has just been the perfect desk companion. And I recently was able to find the tool pin, tool pin you guys, and just when Espy shows these in her videos all the time. So I have a pink one here and a purple one there we go and honestly you guys these are some of the smoothest gel pens i have ever used so i can see why several of my fellow content creators are obsessed with these these are great pens and so as you can see i just have a pack full of pens and i love them Next, you guys, I have my double zip wristlet, and this is also in the light khaki and chalk combination. And I am honestly using this as my bathroom pouch. I wanted to slightly downsize because I feel like the purse insert or the organizer kind of takes up some of your space. So I kind of wanted to just dial it back. So I have my card holder with dental flossers. I have my first aid portable pack from Dollar Tree. And of course, I need these eyeglasses wipes every single day. I do not do dirty glasses. In the back, I have some soap sheets, a feminine wipe, my Tylenol, and a lady product and to be honest you guys i didn't think all of my bathroom or hygiene items would fit into this 
double zip bracelet but it did so that was a pleasant surprise the one thing that i must say the wristlet strap on this is annoying so i can see why people cut them off because it really has been getting on my nerves Next, this is my Nolita 19. This is also in a light khaki with the regular um, taupe signature. And this is so pretty. I just have the handle tucked under the bottom um, so that it takes up less space and doesn't get in my way inside my purse. And I am using this as my makeup bag. So I have a lot of the things that you've seen for the past few weeks. I have my Mentha Limp Shine in Pearl Mint from Bath & Body Works. I have a fingernail file. I am still using my Champagne Toast hand cream. I have my um, Cara Helena Herrera Good Girl Blush, Blush um, Perfume Rollerball. I'm still carrying this Victoria's Secret Heavenly Rollerball, there it is. I have my oil control sheets from Clean and Clear. I have my Tide to Go pen. I have my Chanel mirror. My Dose of Colors lip gloss in almond butter. Some eyeliners or eyebrow pencils and lip liners. So I have MAC Cork and this is Morphe Vibes. Where's that? There we go, Morphe Vibes. And then my Maybelline um, eyebrow pencil. And then the last few things, I have my Teddy Kiss um, Velvet Kiss liquid lip color. Another lip pencil, this color is called Cold Brew. And this one is from NYX Suede. I have another liquid lip color. This is a Love Me lip, liquid lip color. And the color is Love Teddy. And then this is a MAC Sakura Season Lipstick. And that is it. That is all that was in that Nolita. I'm just going to put everything back in. I have in my city tote is this pouch from the Dollar Tree. It is so cute. It is um, appropriately labeled adorable. And honestly, I'm using this as a snack pouch because I just didn't want things floating around in here. So I have an unopened pack of extra gum. I have a pack of strawberry high chews. Shout out to my girl, the fancy pink chick. Girl, these things are good. And I think these are my new favorite instead of the apple flavor. I have some icebreakers duos. I have a pack of Cranberry Orange Belvita, just in case I forget or skip breakfast. And I have a handful of Werther's and Ricola's. Let me see, there we go. That is all that was in my bag, you guys. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the insert. This is how the insert looks when it's inside the bag. So as you can see, there's gonna be a gap between the actual insert and the bag itself. But if you know anything about the city tote, typically when you take everything out of the city tote, the tote flops over. And as you can see with that insert in there, it's still standing up without any issues. Here is a closer look of the insert outside of the bag. So again, there is a long slip pocket, a back zipper pocket, and then on the opposite side, a long slip pocket with a snap closure, two slip pockets, two pencil pockets here, and then on the very inside, there is a bottle holder here and a bottle holder here and that's honestly what makes me think of a diaper bag 
because of those bottle holders on the inside. This is what it looks like on the outside. And it's just like a thick canvas material. Here is a final look at everything I had packed inside the bag. As always, the Coach City Tote holds a lot. Um, I like how the organizer had kept the bag organized. It gave it more structure. And it also, you know, added those slip pockets that you are missing from the city tote. So I can't wait to see how it works inside the Coach Town totes. I will keep you guys updated on that. Enjoyed this bag. I absolutely love this color combination. And it is definitely a new favorite. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, YouTube.